Frank, you better known as 40. I'm Dominique. It's your boy, Charles Keys. I'm Monique. That's El Butler. And we would like to welcome all of our viewers to the world premiere of one of the hottest new talk shows, That's Official. We will be discussing topics that not only promote positivity amongst our generation and the future leaders of America. For real, because we're really just tired of media portraying not only blacks, but our whole generation's dirty laundry instead of all of the positive stuff we do. Exactly. We will not only touch bases on uplifting young America, but we will also have controversial topics, but yet there will be plenty, too. I mean, we talking about it all. We discussing what you don't want to hear and what you do want to hear. It's, we going to put it all on the table for, for, for everyone to listen to. All right. It'll be good to get advice from people who are just like you, chasing the same goals. And that's official. And with that being said, we're going to jump straight into our first segment, the 40 files. <laughs> What you got for us today? <laughs> now, today on the 40 Files, we're going to be talking about one of the most controversial topics around the world. Side pieces. Oh, for sure, for sure. I, 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 okay, I ain't going to lie. I got a story about side pieces, and this, this is a true story. She's going to be mad when she sees this, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you. I swear, this, this recently happened. This recently happened. So I had a girl... She, you could call her my main squeeze. You, you feel me? She, main she was, squeeze. she was my main squeeze. That's and, already a term, you know. Okay, well, well whatever you want to call it. She, <laughs> she, she was the girl I was giving most of my attention to. So she hit me. We was, she was in my <laughs> room one day. She hit me, and she was just like, "Hey, I seen you on Snapchat with so and so." So I'm like, "What you talking about? Just because I'm on Snapchat with a girl, it don't mean nothing." So she goes off and blows off on me, talking about da 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 this, woo de woo this and that. I'm done with you. I'm like, "Cool, delete my number." Because truthfully, <laughs> that wasn't even my side piece. And the side piece I did have, I hit up and was like, "Look, now you my main piece because shoddy and trip." So you let me know if I'm in the wrong or, or who was it? Oh, okay. First of all, I just have to cut you off right there. Right. Yeah. What is the point of a side piece? I mean, he he, he basically just said. The yeah, purpose was to when the when the main chick start messing up, she go he goes to the the side piece. So that's okay. but why do you need that? It's a lifeline. This this is what I'm saying. <laughs> any any <laughs> any any grown I ain't gonna say grown man, but any logical immature person, man. Because a grown want, man don't need a side piece. Well, excuse me. That's official. I'm I'm I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm a, look. I'm 20 years old. Uh, let, him, let him explain though. Let him I explain. need I need a side piece because in this day and age, especially I, in college, who can you trust? You don't know. You don't know true. what's going on. That's so true. so while she. She tripped. That's my lifeline. Like but my side piece was. It shouldn't have anything to do with you. No, so no, what no. I'm hearing is basically a side piece comes from lack of maturity. No, no lack no, of no, trust. No, hey, no, 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 no. Anything. Yeah. But lack of trust. Lack of trust lack and of maturity. Trust. But when you're mature, you're not even gonna try to talk to someone unless you trust them. Lack of maturity. So it is maturity, though. For I real, think real. what we all need to really focus on here is the same way you get them is the same way you'll lose them. That's true. That's yeah. official. That's a, that's a so if they're it. doing disloyal things to be with you, then what makes you think that when you actually do so-called get with the person, they won't do the, that won't do it all over again? It's a cycle. Okay, question to the rest of my cast: What if they both loyal? What if you got two main pieces, but you treating them both as side pieces? Well, then that means I feel like that's impossible. Honestly, <laughs> first of all, I think side pieces. I think we're getting the whole concept mixed up. I feel like you have you get a side piece. Because I feel like you need to have a girlfriend in order to have a side piece. I mean, because if you don't have a girlfriend, how? No, that's not true. You don't have to have a girlfriend to have a side piece. Because you don't, yeah, you don't have to have a main piece at all to have a side piece. Because uh -huh. a side piece is just something, it means it's, it's just not all the way, you feel me? She's not that main chick. You don't have these main chick goals, so you a side piece. So basically, we're just getting the whole overview of how guys think that. We yeah, don't get we're that. getting it to you real. No. What? Is she doing up in my house? I was waiting on you at the door. Seriously, everyone, make sure you follow us at our Instagram and Twitter pages at That's Official TV. So, the, so the problem is, all right. So, so how do we cancel side pieces? Like, what what do you have to say for every side pieces? Are you know they're beneficial to guys. Sometimes they can be 
giving you something that your girlfriend is lacking, or sometimes it can be just a getaway from your girlfriend, you know, get away from the drama, because with a side piece, it don't come with all that extra, you Why know. Why not just work on what y'all You don't have, have to really on. care about, you know what I'm saying, what she got going on in her life. Y'all just are beneficial to each other. So shouldn't con communication come in and you tell her, because what I'm hearing is you go to your side piece because it's something that you're not getting from the main piece, mm -hmm. and you're going to the side piece to get something yeah. that's not fulfilling in this over Correct. here, right? Yeah, sometimes. sometimes. I mean, but see, as a real. woman, though, as a woman, I don't respect that. I really don't. Because I feel like me being another woman and me knowing that a man has another woman, there's nothing that I would be able to do for him. But that goes into a whole nother part. Because there's some side pieces that don't even know that they're side pieces. Exactly. That is that's official. That's right. official right there. For sure. That's yeah. official. Yes, so that's what I'm saying. Before but you the get into these relationships, you need to know a person first. And I think, you know... That, we're not getting to know. We're not getting to know each other first. If you meet other people to fulfill needs that you, that are not being met with your main chick, girlfriend or boyfriend, get to know each other first because then you'll realize well, this is not somebody I want to be with. Then if she can't fulfill all these needs for me or he, but you he see, or everybody's she. not looking for someone long term. Someone is just looking for someone to be beneficial towards them. And see, that's yeah. the problem today. That's the problem today. I True. really do. I must agree with y'all. You, if you're not ready, don't what do you it. agree with? I'm saying they just come well, with What you. are you looking for? Yes. From a younger perspective, what are you looking younger. for right now? I mean, I think, like I said, I got to agree with them. Like, a side piece really just comes from immaturity. I know as far as my development, I'm not where I used to be, but I'm not where I want to be in a yeah. relationship. Right. But that you can't force it neither. No, no, nah, I really okay, can't. Okay, well, let's just say, let's look at the positive in this situation. Side pieces are just, I don't know what to say about positive. Can someone come up with a positive solution? They're telling us to end the show, sorry. I don't Can't necessarily someone... know what to say about side pieces, but since we're on the topic, let's But y'all are saying all the negative stuff. One of y'all need to positive, the, positive. Positive. the positive is that people just need to learn how to be mature. You feel me? You shouldn't hurt nobody because if it was your little sister, you feel me? You wouldn't exactly. want because I wouldn't want that to happen. So it's really about just growing up. Because guess one day you guys are going to grow up with daughters, and do you actually want somebody treating yeah. your daughters like that? Exactly. I'm not sending my issue. daughter to college. She, she. Okay. <laughs> So let's talk about the hottest shows. Let's I'm sorry, it. me personally, the hottest show to me was Empire. Hi. Hi. I'm so tired of Empire. Girl, See, Empire is a show that have you feeling she like you were saying. Because your girl don't answer the phone. For real, bro. You know, it's oh. only an hour. Give her an hour to watch the show. So like me, kind of give me the scoop on Empire because, you know, I'm the type of person that... I'm not a hype beat, so if everybody is on it, then I try to draw away from it because I just hate being in the midst of what everybody. Yeah, I just, I just don't watch it. Personally, I, I think well, I think Empire hits kind of like every feeling, every drama, anything drama, it's on the comedy music industry. Yeah, you know I'm saying drama, comedy, sadness. You can cry, you know, all that in one. And I feel like that's what makes a good show when you can feel every emotion that you feel within yourself within a show. You know, it's a lot of things in a show that you can relate to. And so, I feel so like what about the show? In particular, that really makes it just pop. Why does everybody wants to watch it? I know one reason I would watch it though, to Roger P. Yes, that's official. Oh, that's 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 oh, that two chicks. Shout out to Roger, man. She doing her thing, man. Her intention. They've been they been walking around for, yeah. for a minute. Empire just makes you want to watch it because it's full of drama. It's full of juice. It's a base around the the music industry. Okay, Taraji P. Henson who was formerly known as Cookie in the show, she went to jail for 17 years, but she's out to only see that her husband has benefited from the drug money that they got. They used to be gangsters back in the day. It'll so, buy you what you want. <laughs> <laughs> so, back, so now she's getting out and she's seeing this fortune he has built. He's built an empire. And now they have three sons. Wait, so who, got the, who got the drug money? Lucius had the drug money to produce wait, the show. Wait, wait, I mean, wait, to start the empire. Well, I got a question. So did she go to jail... For the drug stuff? Yes, yes she did. Mm. 17, 17 years. Mm. She went to jail for his drugs? Well, her, but I mean, they were together. They were together. She I took mean, the they plane. had three kids together, three sons together. Wow. One is a singer, one, one is, is a rapper, and one, one is, is like brains. Really, yeah, brains. He runs so one of them saying that drip drop song. Y yes. Man, I can right. sing it, eh? <laughs> Yes, but anyways, shout out to Empire, uh, everyone who's doing the show. It's a great show, and I wish you all nothing but the best. But speaking yes. about shows, another hot show that's all everybody always talking about, of course, is Scandal. Oh, man. And that goes right. back to side pieces, because oh. everyone oh. thinks it's okay to be a side piece. I love Olivia Pope, but I mean, if we want to be real, man, but you know what? I, she's the ultimate my, side piece. I don't really think she's a side piece. Let me just tell you that. She's a side piece. There's no, she's I don't a side really, piece. because. He's married. But he's in a dead marriage, though. But They're he's only married. staying married because of he's the president. Okay, so let me ask you this. He's if, the president. She's the vice. I mean, it just looks good. If you, 
You I mean, no, me personally. <laughs> if you was in a relationship and it started dying down, you think it's okay to go ahead and just just because it's dying down? No, I don't. Yes, but I, I think do. personally they want to get a divorce. <laughs> no, me personally, I think they want to get a divorce, but I just don't think it would be a smart move for their career wise. Exactly. Once he's not president anymore, I really do think they will go forward with the divorce. I really do. But my thing that doesn't justify that she's not a side piece. She but that's still... part of the reason why she's a side piece. I mean. She is. Yeah. Y- yeah but she you know is. what? My whole <laughs> okay. take, my whole take on scandal is like basically, you know, I didn't really want to watch. For real, because I thought it was, oh, okay, you got another black woman sleeping around with another uh, white man. But you know, Olivia Pope really gets stuff done in the show. Like, she, yeah. like they call her, yeah. she's, she's, like, she's the making moves. Her trying to get favor. So, shout out to Kerry Washington because she getting it done and looking good. Yes. Doing this. Yes. But, I still, but, I, but, I, but I still take Taraji over her. You know what I'm saying? Taraji got a little bit of that attitude. I mean, Kerry if she was real, I'll take her. You know? Nah, you know, I don't. Nah, yeah, it's still bad media, though. Taraji. Like, you got a positive black woman, she still got to go yes. out and creep. That is bad media. Why she can't just be faithful and support the black woman? But you know what? He made the move on her. Now, but it just goes back to the producer standpoint. You feel me? Why do you have to make Why? something yeah. like that that's portraying that image to people across the world when people love this show and it's something bad? Like, because you know I mean? people want to see that. They that's do. what that sells. That's that's what sells. That's that's what sells. 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 Live our lives like we're on TV. But, but you can't you can't say that because we in a world where you feel me, people watch TV and this is what's going into their head. Yeah, it's exactly. official. And that's official for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the main purposes of our show is to promote positivity. So what do you guys think that is a big impact on society today? Truthfully, media. I can't, I can't it gotta be media for sure. Media, but I feel like reality TV is like one of the main things mm-hmm. that's like really affecting our society, our community, like directly. Like, whatever people put out and watch, that's what people feel like they gotta do. Like, everybody wanna live them superstar lives. So, whatever you see on TV, you feel like that's what it has to be. Like, that's how your life has to be. So, reality TV is like greatly affecting but our But not community. all reality TV is bad reality TV. So, mm-hmm. what do you mean? Uh, like, which shows? Mm-hmm. Like, well, I want to It's kind of decep- deceptive mm-hmm. because. They show you the glam, but they don't show you the grind. Yeah. How they got there, you know. Exactly. How, how do I just get on reality TV? You know, <laughs> you don't just appear on there. You know, you got yeah. to do something to get there. They don't show those building blocks, those steps. So everybody just think, you know, with the microwave generation that we have, everybody just feel like, you know, oh, I can just like, you know, what I'm saying? I just want it fast. I just get it just mm-hmm. like that. So, but what is so negative? What is negative? I mean, it, it, it's just a whole bunch. Personally, my personal opinion on it. I don't support reality TV. You feel me? It could be a good show. You feel me? You could even make millions off of it. But most reality TV, you can't have reality TV without drama. And most of the drama is negative. Housewives of Atlanta, you feel me? Even even like what? Yeah. The um the challenge or all that stuff. It's about people yeah. getting into it with each other. Like, why do you have to promote that? Like, I don't promote that at all. Like, cause I even have little cousins that watch, you know, the housewives and all that type of stuff. So you're definitely not a fan of love and hip hop then. I'm not. I don't I don't watch shows at all. It's like, phony. Period. I just feel like I every it. I feel like every I reality love TV love show. Is it's phony. so funny. Because I think, you know, we're being too serious about it. I think we have to look at like Take the funnest out of the reality. It's it's funny to watch. I mean, it's entertaining. You know, you, yeah, it's entertaining, it's but funny. it's not. You, know. you don't have to look at it like, oh, I, I, it's never one of my dreams to be, oh, I want to be on Love & Hip Hop one day. But I do like the show. I mean, you got to look at it. It's people out here that are just trying to make it. Mm-hmm. So if the producer was to come to you right now and be like, hey, we want you to be on Love & Hip Hop, what would you say? I would decline. I really would. Why? That's not I mean, that's just not something to I want to do. It's but it's I know, but I don't knock about. anybody else who's trying to do it. Like, yeah. you have people on there like, let me just say, for instance, Mimi, Stevie J, they have a daughter. Mimi has. <laughs> Stevie J has a Stevie world J. of kids. So what if they put their This, this show could be a way to help them support their kids. So what if they like, put their sign and check like in front of you $100,000 right now? Like, hey, sign and bone. We want right you to be on the Well, you look, okay, let me not say I want to do it. I need to know what type yeah. of role I need to play. Yeah. Let me put it like that. I would still be positive. I wouldn't. That because, wouldn't yeah, be everybody's role is not bad. All right, on quick, reality quick question, TV. quick question, quick question. Name one positive person on reality TV. Or T.I. That's not phony, though. T.I., you don't... Nellyville. Nellyville. That was a great show. Great positive show. Okay, no. I well, okay, I got a question. How Tamela Man. No, listen, 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 listen. With listen. David Man, they have a great reality show on BT. Listen, 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 listen. And it's so funny. Listen, 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 listen. Let me say this. Listen, listen, listen. Let me say this. No, for real. It's a really good show. Listen, compare the good shows to the bad shows and see who's really making more money. I know 
the, yeah. the bad shows are making. I didn't know Tamla Man had a show. I didn't either. <laughs> Besides Meet the Brown. I know it's it a not show, but that is a great <laughs> And see, and that's the problem today. Yeah. I don't think yeah. we're promoting enough positivity in that's reality today. Exactly. Yeah. I didn't even yeah. know Tamla Man okay. had a show. I, okay. Tamla Man came to the screen. It's fun to see it. Because I didn't know she had a show. Well, I really that's not what's being broadcast, you know. And see, and that that's why we really need to support the we need to support more positive shows than we do the negative ones. Mm-hmm. Like that's official. Exactly. Positivity. That's our brand. But you know, um reality TV, man, it it really does have a negative effect, you know, on a lot of people in our generation, especially the young girls. You know, mm-hmm. y'all have a different outtake on it because you know it's entertaining to y'all, but you'll be surprised the stuff that you watch, how it really get you know what I'm saying, getting your mind, getting your spirit, and you'll you'll be surprised if people start bottling their lives yeah. after that, you know. Yeah, you're yeah. right. And they some of re- the things that go on on there, young girls should not pick up on it. But see, that's why it's I think parents should watch what their kids are watching nowadays. Yeah. You know, yeah, I think that's true. for an older audience. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely. You know? But put, put yourself in those shoes when you were younger and your mama came in like, oh, I didn't watch you that. You can't watch you this. To, yeah, you just got to yeah. figure it out, period. I mean, we had shows like That's So Raven, Sister, Sister. Like, that, that was the type that's of stuff. That's not being aired anymore. Yeah, though, you're though. right. That's the type so, of stuff I watch. Yeah. That's the type of stuff I feel. Exactly. They, they don't have shows like that really anymore that are just so interesting for the younger, younger, younger generation to watch. Like they got shows like Love and Hip Hop, Real House of Atlanta. I got a little cousin that's a living that can tell you everything about. Them. But it can even goes even even get down to like those actual people that's in the shows. You don't know what their their whole life is. You don't know what's really going on in their mentality. Mm-hmm. You don't know how strong they feel about themselves. You feel me? Which actually gets us to our next topic: insecurities. Mm-hmm. 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 Great topic. Great topic. Mm-hmm. Mm. I oh, think man. a lot of these people that even do these type of shows, I think they find some type of insecurities, but they hide them with the shows. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. With their insecurities, they portray to the world to make money. All right, Does so that I, make I, sense? I, got, I got a specific Does question. That Why do you make great sense? sense. Mm-hmm. Make great sense. What advice do you give to people with insecurities? Okay, my best advice, been. let me tell you, my best advice, I can, especially coming from a woman's perspective, you have to understand, love yourself. You have to learn to love yourself. Because I need to know, like, it's being portrayed that you think that you have to have, I don't want to say butt shots, breast implants, and all this, all this phony hair. Don't get me wrong. I like nice hair. Don't get me wrong. Phony hair, teeth a certain way, Botox, all this surgery. You don't have to have that. Learn to love yourself. Because let me tell you, beauty only lasts for so long. Beauty comes really from within. So So if you really learn to love yourself first, then all that other stuff won't even matter. But you know what? I, I agree with you in that aspect, but I also... M4, I'm not saying that I would do it, but if you have something that you can improve, improve it. Mm, no, I don't agree with that. That's over. That's dead. I mean, That's dead. I mean, if your head messed up, bro, get your hair done. You know, you know I'm not saying that. Like, like, you know, I, you know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel like girls should have to. You don't have to. Like I said, I don't like. I, <laughs> That's no, real, though. I, like, you know I, mean, I like nice hair. I really do. But. I feel like you know what I'm saying. I don't. I don't just wear this hair because I'm insecure about my real oh, hair. Okay. True, I wear true, true. this because I'm telling you, it's a, it's a, it's a hassle doing your real hair sometimes. Okay. It really is, and I don't think guys understand that. I hate that. I, if she don't wear her real hair, I ain't messing with her. All these girls wearing this fake. We will. personally, a lot of us, us actually have hair. My but, advice would be to insecurities would be. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> cut you off, though, man. Not to cut you off or anything, but I mean, I think. What we're both saying is accept yourself the way you are, but if you see some flaws about yourself... That can be fixed. That can be fixed. Fix it. If you have a flaw on your face... No, 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 no. Naturally. So what's the definition of being fixed? Why does it have to be fixed? What if makes you want your issue? chest to be bigger, go make them bigger. If you want Ooh. your butt to be bigger, make it bigger. That's a, Apparently, they're not accepting themselves. So uh, for them so to accept themselves... That's I, that's what I'm I'm like you get that fix, and you're gonna find something else that you don't like. Oh, I don't like my cheekbone structure. So, so if they don't, fixed. if they're never going to like it about them, but you have what to understand, you insecurity to starts. It starts somewhere. Mm-hmm. You where? know what? Where? Maybe where? It, that's what I'm saying. I think it starts at a young age. I'm not gonna lie. Me growing up, I had like my, I had family, but like my granddaddy. Shout out to my granddad. I'm sorry. He always <laughs> told me I was beautiful before I even really knew what beautiful yeah. was. So it was just and so I grew up not even, I didn't need anyone else to tell me I'm beautiful because I heard that from my granddaddy every day. Whether I thought I was or not, it was always in my head yeah. that well, I felt like I was beautiful. You got certain people you know, who, who don't hear that. Right. That's why you, you have got their parents calling them ugly, calling mm-hmm. them stupid and stuff right. like that. Some people really grow up different. So what if you cannot ever get over that insecurity? Fix it. 
I know, but it's I, easier I, I said I'm not going done, down though. with that, for real. Easier, easier said than done. I'm just not against people if you're fixing who want it, to who go Who are you really fixing it, it for? All right, say, no, I'm saying, you you looking at your butt. All right. You looking at your butt. <laughs> you want a bigger butt. Why do you want a bigger butt? Because I'm, most girls want a bigger butt because guys like girls with bigger butts. They get more attention because these girls not getting attention. So why are you <laughs> trying to fix yourself for for somebody else? Like that, it doesn't make sense. Like yeah. and once I mean, you get that, you done, it, and that goes back to why I said you have to learn to love yourself. But everybody does not. You know, it takes a while to learn it. It really does. It comes because, with growth. It really does. But the question growth. is, who are you trying to be accepted by? Yeah. You know, society. That, that's the re- that's the real question. And I think that's another thing that plays Man, a big part of society. society is a bunch of people. It's just like you buy stuff Opinions. for people who you don't like for them to accept you. So it's just a never ending circle. Like once you do one thing, you're gonna be looking for the next thing, and it's just gonna be a never ending circle. But like, that, well, I, I, I'm agreeing with you. Listen, like you gotta when love that comes yourself. Back with God. Okay, say look, Ben, and since y'all talking about insecurities, with say a relationship or whatnot. Mm, mm. All right. <laughs> Same with a relationship. Go ahead, girl. Okay, so you have a girl or whatnot. Say most people when they get in relationships, they start getting really comfortable, right? And so guess what? Your girl stop really doing her hair around you, yeah. doing her makeup, and doing yeah. this because she becomes comfortable. And guess what? You start looking. Well, my girl don't do that no more. I'm about to look for another girl who does that. That can be a sign of insecurity to a girl too, because it's like, dang, why do I have to dress up and look like this every day for you? But as a man or a woman, y'all expect that from a woman. Y'all want your girl to look nice and and all, but you won't accept her just. I heard a guy say, uh uh-uh, uh, while I'm here, I don't want that, that satin cap, that bonnet on your head. Why not? Okay, Why question, can I not be question, myself question, here? Question, I don't question, need a question, question. So, what if your man just stopped getting his hair cut, stopped shaving, he just started looking like real rough, and he's like, well, I want but you to go if that's your man, like, that's what it starts from looking looks. at your man on the inside. Exactly. You have to so, learn, because guess what? Those looks, he's not going to always look like how he was in his 20s. And with age, you age. That's why I said beauty, beauty. Handsomeness, all that, it comes from within also. Work because out. That's I don't care about that. That's you get old, girl, you see, but that's why, but you're over here talking about you. Up, but see, you're over here talking about you don't agree with that. But see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That promotes insecurities because guess what? You that's feel true. like you have to keep up a certain image. Or you're going you gonna to feel like your girl yeah. or guy's going to step out on you. So guess what? Take that as a lesson learned that, look, appreciate what you have. Whether she looks like this or look like that. Appreciate it and that tell her she's beautiful ways. with that satin cap on and yeah. off. Yeah, that's, exactly. that's both ways. But you ways. know, with the insecurities, you know, that kind of go back to why a lot of dudes have side pieces because they feel like you know, if you were a girl for so long, <laughs> you know, it keep it keep <laughs> going, it keep going back to that it's side it's piece. If you were a girl for so long, you feel like, dang, do I still, you know, what I'm saying, got it to go talk to another girl? Have I got so and take my girls? I don't really got it with nobody else no more. Then you get around your boys, yeah. or your boys still Ooh. doing this, that, and the other. And you, you know what? Like, like, you know what? Looking like I'm just saying that that plays into insecurity. With a lot of a lot of guys are insecure with themselves too. That's why that's why a lot of guys have side pieces because you know they still trying to fill that void. It's oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a, I'm a that's another thing I gotta hit on. Don't honest. be that friend. Please <laughs> do not be that friend that drags your friend. Knowing they're in a committed relationship or with someone. Man, you always hurt. <laughs> Why you always hurt? That's, 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 that's so Don't real. Don't be that friend. Lie. Your friends will put you in the worst they situation. Will. They will. Oh, you know he finna and be okay. And that's nobody here, man. I'm gonna be the worst until they your friends get on my nerves. Your friends gonna get you in No, trouble. but I ain't gonna lie. Friends will be the main reason a relationship do not work. Do not work. work. Oh, they do. You, you but a real homie will so let you know. So let's just blame the friends on the insecurities. The, the friends bring all the insecurities in relationships. Friend, we're blaming the friends. No. Friends will front some stuff I'm out that they but... experienced through their relationship with you. You know what I'm saying? The, your friend will went through something that's not even pertaining to you, but put it in your <laughs> head. <laughs> and have you <laughs> thinking that now you all oh, insecure man. about the situation. Oh, yeah. Like, Yes, you yes, feel me? Yes. So. I have a similar situation. Go ahead, Tay. Because, okay, wait a minute. I have a story for y'all. What? Okay, so I can't stand when people try to compare situations mm. to other situations. Oh, because yours. you have to look, yes, look at what you're doing. I can't stand, well, I'm looking at your friend over here. He putting her through this and this yeah, and that. I'm not even doing that. But guess what? It's not about what they're doing. You're probably doing other things that I don't accept. Yeah. You know, so just because you're not doing what your friend is doing doesn't mean that I still don't have a problem with what you're doing. That's right. Like, we have to learn to stop. So how, how, how do you talk to your friend about that? You feel me? If your friend is pressing you about, oh, you should, you, you feel me? How do you really talk to that friend without <laughs> messing up the relationship? Because that's a big part of helping you know, your friends some, with insecurity. Sometimes as friends, we have to stop being judgmental and thinking we know it. Sometimes a friend is strictly there just to listen. Be that shoulder that yeah, they listen. can listen. Okay. Us as friends need to learn how to stop being so judgmental and listen to your friend. Just listen to their problem. we are the therapist because ultimately, 
we can give you the best advice, but how do we know that my advice is the advice for you? Exactly. Because everybody don't know what's behind That's the scenes. That's why you need your relationship is your own relationship, your special relationship. Y'all yeah. get to know each other, and y'all work out your problems on your own. Don't get me wrong. Your friends are always, they're almost some of the best therapy you can have just you to go what? in situation and talk to them about it. But ultimately, sometimes getting advice from them is not the best idea. Ultimately, I think what it boils down to mm -hmm. is... Knowing your worth, wow. what you're worth in that relationship, wow. what you want, and wow. what is uh -huh. what is your value, and uh -huh. where you all stand. You can't let mm -hmm. nobody else define your relationship, yes. you know, because they don't know all the ins and outs. Yes. And that's, that's official. Amazing. Now it's time for our segment of the show, which is called Twins Tips. Today, our tip is for the ladies, and I have BB Cream by Maybelline. Now, what BB Cream does, it blurs, it enhances, and it smooths your skin, and can also be used as sunscreen. And ladies, check this out. It's a great price. It ranges between $7 and $9. You can get it at local stores such as Target, Walmart, CVS, and Walgreens. Check it out, and let me know what you think. On a more serious note, as many of y'all already know, members of Sigma Alpha Epsilon at the University of Oklahoma who caught on camera seeing racial slurs on the bus. Goes to clip of it right here. You all just feel about hearing that. It's crazy, man. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. It really is because I, I me personally, I feel like it was taught. I don't feel yeah. like that was anything. I feel like that's, oh, that's a oh, generational thing. Like they, yeah, they, they teaching down. it. But you know what, y'all? That's this life. But I mean, on a better note, um, he did apologize. Do you think the poly the apology was sincere? I don't know. Let's watch a clip of it and see. Yeah. Uh, I'm not here today to talk about where I learned the chant or how it was taught. I'm here to apologize for what I did because the truth the truth is that what was said in that chant is disgusting, and it should never. And after meeting with these people and everybody else I've met with, uh, I've learned that these words should never be repeated, yeah. joked about, or ever used in any form ever again. And uh, these are lessons that I'm going to carry with me for the rest of my life. Truthfully, I don't know about y'all, but I feel like that apology was just phony as could be. Yeah, it lacked sincerity. It was very staged, if you ask me. But I, but I feel like, I'm not going to say he necessarily didn't mean it, but I'm not going to say he did. But I feel like, I mean, that's just something he had to do regardless. Because he couldn't just go without saying nothing. Because that's bad for him for business. But yeah, right. but I get what everybody's saying. Because it, you didn't really get that emotional feel from him. Exactly. Yeah. But, you know, who are we to not accept his apology? You know, if he does ask for forgiveness, you know, it's our job to give it to him. You know, whether he's sincere about it or not. You know, so let's live up to him and God, you know. Because we are promoting positivity, so. I'm not going to lie. I'm not forgiving nobody for that. No, listen. I mean, what you, you can't. I can't. mean, I'm just being real. I'm sorry. But, I'm not but, forgiving. But remember, we have to go back to what. Why, why we're you trying say you to teach people to be positive. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Why do you say you don't forgive But that's not. But you, Let you me talk. Have I, I want to hear what he said. Why can't you forgive him? I mean, truthfully, this some um, obviously y'all said it y'all said this something that's been taught. So whether he apologizes or not, his son and his kids gonna come through with the same mindset as him of hanging from a tree. There'll never be a you know what an SAE. Like I don't care how many times you apologize, I, I maybe forgive you, but I'm not gonna forget. So maybe that's what I'm getting misconstrued. Okay. Like, well, I mean, you don't I have to forgive, but it. always forgive. Yeah. Don't I, I don't respect it. Um. Better words, like I don't respect you. Just didn't respect no, apology. like it was just whack. He just did that just for appeasement of the people. But the scary thing is, like I searched SAE and like SAE on resumes, they're like bankers and lawyers, politicians, like influential people in society, and people don't even know that. Like these are head honchos, and SAE is all over the country. So you gotta understand if that chapter doing it, what you think the other chapters are doing? So. But in a lot of those situations happening, the president did take proper actions and suspended the chapter off of the yard. And I also heard about him implementing diversity groups amongst campus, you know, so it gives them a chance to teach, you know, the importance of diversity and the importance of all different races coexisting in the world that we live in today. You know, technically, I just feel like they got what they deserve. So I just feel let's forgive and move on and just hope nothing like that happens exactly. again. Exactly. I feel like the positive thing to take from it is just, just really think about all your actions before you do them. Yeah. Don't, don't just because it's passed down to you. You know, you got to think for yourself. And I think that's a big problem. Just think for yourself. Be smart about it. Have integrity.
I, I agree, but um, me being real Afrocentric, we're going to get into my segment. My segment is Back to Black. And the Back to Black segment is simply a segment that uh gives time to shine light on the black community when someone's doing something positive for our community. I'm real Afrocentric, so that's going to be my segment. And for this first episode, it goes down to Thomas Harris and Jim Lee Design. And what they do is they help small businesses, organizations, or individuals really get up off the ground and be more profitable. What he does is they he helps design the website, uh, design a logo, marketing ideas in any projects and in specific what the specific what he does is he creates projects for the business to help benefit each other so it's really a give and take situation and where they can both help each other and right now we he actually helped develop the website for that's official tv and we would like to dedicate this segment to him now we're gonna go ahead to the next segment you know it's time to you know, lighten it up a little yeah, bit. Something yeah, funny. Sure. You feel me? Um, recently, you know, I had a little issue. You know what I'm What's saying? That? What's that? <laughs> but um, I had a little issue. You feel me? Um, me personally, I'm not really the meeting the parent type of guy. But that's what we're gonna talk about. You feel me? I met somebody parent, and it was just this wasn't recently. Okay, <laughs> it wasn't recently. Okay, y'all. it was back in the day. But um, it was just, it was just awkward. I just personally don't like doing that. You feel me? Why? Like, because it's just, especially when, first of all, I don't even mess with the girl like that. So I don't know why you introduced me to you. <laughs> so I'm just there like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 you can't lie though. When you meet the, when you meet that daddy for the first time, you got you to gotta let him know that you there with him. Yeah. Just, you know, that, that handshake be the hardest hand she can have in your entire life. That handshake like, is crucial You got to look him in the eyes so too. Show you me the handshake. With you. Don't, don't hurt my hand. Oh my God. You about to hurt your hand. <laughs> Okay, I anticipate a little yeah, bit. Like, you, you, hey, wait, what would you do? Okay. Say you look him dead in the eye. How you doing, sir? You know what I'm saying? Nice what would you do if, if his dad gave you like a pool handshake? Like, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but well, what about okay? Well, what about the girls when they meet the moms? Like, we don't give handshakes. We, it's more so like that hug. Me personally, me the mom. Okay, yeah, meeting the parents is. I feel like it's totally off limits. Not unless you really, really. Really, uh-huh. really, really see it going somewhere. Uh-huh. Just being somewhere. But what, what happened when you get caught off guard with it? Like you forget, yeah. like you just you just taking her back. I'm like, oh, this is my mom loves. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. My see, mama, I was always kind of prepared when I was gonna meet the parents. It just was never thrown at me like that. Me and my mama got the type of relationship where she know this ain't something serious or like yeah, for sure. You mama know what I'm saying? Because like, I can bring somebody to the house. I'm be like, mama, you know, feel me. But then it be someone like mama. My, you feel me? So, so, so basically, you saying you no, let no, everybody meet your mom? Side piece Sunday. No, no, no. I, do not, I do not let everybody meet my mom. Like, truthfully, from a male perspective, if you meet my mom, that's more of a privilege. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. if I bring you to my mom, I introduce you to my mom, and like, that's that's my baby. Like, mm-hmm. you should be feel yeah. honored to be in her and presence. I think that's the same way with girls yeah. with dads. When you let them or meet mom. dad or granddad, you know that male figure in your life. It has to be serious because yeah. you just don't let anybody meet you. Because girl, girl, girls like, have met my mama, but I've never in my life brought a girl to my mama. You feel I me? Mean? She might be coming to the house to chill, and my mom and I'm like, oh, uh-huh. uh, this is her. Why haven't uh-huh. you brought a girl? Because I've never met a girl uh-huh. that's just went like, mom, uh-huh. this, this is her. This yeah. is her. Yeah, exactly. you're right. That comes but you know, time. like, when me, know when me and need. someone's parent, like, especially when you a dude, if you really like that girl when you meet her daddy, that's so crucial, you know? You got to really make a good impression on him. It's like, you really just need to be yourself. I feel like a... Uh, a girl's father just really want to know that number one, you confident in yourself. You know, you mm-hmm. can take care of his daughter, and you respect her. You know, when I met my girlfriend, daddy, you know, me and him just click instantly. You know, what I'm saying yeah. he just, I was transparent. You know, he saw through me. You know, you know what I'm saying I'm authentic. You know, so I'm official. You know, you know what I'm saying. He's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I'm saying he, he said he liked my swag. He liked the way I dress. You know, he, he liked the way I spoke. You know, what I'm saying that goes a big deal into first impressions. You know, what I'm saying right. yes. when you meet someone, you know, you got to make that first impression because it's a lasting impression. First yes. impressions are very important because I'm just here to tell you that it will carry you the first time. Mm-hmm. I mean, the the whole time in a relationship, you mess up that especially that first time. Exactly. Oh and I'm, I'm glad goodness, you, um, you gonna um, hear it. I'm glad you hit on um dressing. He liked the way you dress. Like as a female, you need to go covered and presentable mm, you don't mm. need to have all that cleavage out all that uh-huh. stuff, you know so i think that's another thing your attire exactly i mean like, on your you, first you could be a stripper but if you was to go in front of somebody for the first time and have on a nice dress they would never know so, so we specifically you know, on first impressions that's, <laughs> yeah, we, we talk about first impressions right now that first impression is a lasting impression yeah that's true that's true one thing with first impressions though i feel like you should never really be too judgmental Cause even though it makes sense, I don't think you should be judgmental. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you, you but it's like it's human nature, though. It is it's human, human nature, nature for but you. But you still got you still have to have that in your mind. Yeah, though. but you also have to understand 
that's why it's important for your yeah, first impression that's why it to is be important. good because guess what? The first time you meet someone, that's the first thing exactly. you're gonna know about them, and yeah, that's, that's gonna true. carry you. Like the first time I met him, he was rude. He was this. He was that. You all, you want to be on your stuff for real. I ain't gonna lie, but like. To me, first impressions are just like phony. You never gonna act like the vibe you give off in the first impression is how you want somebody to perceive you, not necessarily how you, you really are. Yeah, but right. you, that's how you want somebody. But, your but that comes with time. I feel like no, you need to impress them first and then get comfortable. Or you, you know? can, or sometimes people like my first impression for somebody I don't like. I might be like a jack, like. Look, I'm I'm this certain way, so don't try to fool me. And I like I know I met girls for the first time. Like, hey, I want to holler at you, Denzel. Like, like I'm gonna be a, a jack. For a certain reason, so they won't talk to me. But if it's if it's one of y'all, I'll be like, you know, how you doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm you feel me? But sometimes a first impression is not always aware. You feel me? Like, okay, for the girls. Like, if you all around your homegirls, you feel me, and only it's five of y'all, and only you, one of your homegirl brings in a girl, you still acting regular. You're not even thinking about her, but they, in her mind, she's looking at y'all like, oh, they acting this way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it could be unawarely as well. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's true. But I, ultimately, I just think, just not in meeting parents, but in the business world or just anywhere, first impressions are very important and you really always want to make exactly. it. Exactly. You Especially always want to make business. it stick and good. But which brings us we're, to the closing of our show. But we want to know what you guys' first impression was of that's us. True, that's true. For real, for real. Story. Let us know. Hit us up, like Charles said, on our social media accounts, you know, Twitter, Instagram. Let us know how you really feel about the show. You know, Let us know was our first impression a good impression and we hope it was. And that's official TV. Hit us up and let us know how you feel about the show. We want to hear all your comments, all your feedbacks, whether it's negative, positive. You know, we just want to hear everything you have to say about the show. You know, we just out here trying to do our thing. You know, we out here trying to promote positivity. You know, we're just trying to do something boy. different, trying to be innovative. That's Oh, 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 is forever. Oh, 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 Probate was stupid, like, coming down, he was coming out of work, 
and you just like people cheering your name and whatnot. You know, you just trying to stay focused and whatnot. All the girls, you know, they just like dang. Bro. Being an alpha is crazy, man. I really, you know, I'm I'm thankful that I'm a part of this organization. It's really the best thing that I ever been, you know, put myself in. But to be a brother of G5. Man, I mean, it was just crazy the whole time. And then seeing your family share your name, front line, like, that shit was crazy. Where's my miss? Look at him. Get it, this is the time you I'm Aiden Harris, I'm from Upper Grand Rapids, Michigan, biology major, um, Trey from Sublime, Trey is the only way. Man, that probate, probate was crazy, man. Everybody out there just cheering for you, you and your brother standing out there just giving it y'all 100%. It went by too quick in my opinion, wish we could have another one, but you only get one and we definitely showed up. The probate, it was crazy seeing how you could finally display what you've been learning and then just show up. Hey yo. Damn, yeah. prime time is tough. Bro, you got all the juice. All the juice. Man, y'all heard it, those all the juice now. Rex, I got six shots. Oh. Hey. My name is Patrick, my name is Patrick. Oh. All right, dude. Oh. His shoe game is reckless, his shoe game is reckless. Oh. He's running to fight six, he's running to fight six. Hey. He started Tiger Press, he started Tiger Press. Hey. They try to get something me, kill on his step in. Hey! They try to talk when you just look at his GP. Hey! Oh. <laughs> Hold it. Oh. Come on, Keep big brother, Paul Tom. Realizing that like I have one idea and I think it's dope, but when I put my idea with my line brothers, you know, it's it's amazing. Like you come up with a big idea, you get more things done. You can 
have alpha. You can smell alpha. You can even taste alpha. Or you can live an ordinary life. Which one do you choose? Well, all right, twin. We choose Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. <laughs> My biggest challenge since being since joining the organization would be time management. Because being a part of a Army ROTC and Gamma Phi, I gotta know what I have to do and I gotta do it when I have to do it. No uh, no slacking basically is what I'm saying. Hey.
Get your breath, get your breath, get your breath. It all started with the air. 